Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to another wonderful Wednesday with Mrs. Wilson. As you can see, today I'm here in my studio. This is where I like to paint and do a lot of different things. So, it's also thundering outside, so I thought it'd be a little safer for me to be inside here. My book today is The World Needs More Purple People. Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart wrote the book. It's illustrated by Daniel Wiseman. I wonder what this book is about. Ta-da! Follow my guide to become a purple person by Penny. Now you may be asking yourself, why in the world would I want to be purple? Hmm. I wonder what a purple person is. Purple is a magic color made when red and blue work together. I think all the best things in the world are purple. But you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with people? Well, are you a genius because you are already on your way to becoming a purple person? You want to know why? I wonder why. Step one, ask questions. Really great questions. My dad says purple people ask great questions. Questions about everything. Even questions about questions. Hey dad, how far away is outer space? Have you ever met a dolphin? How many dolphins live in outer space? Whoa, those are great questions, aren't they? Purple questions are the kind that help you learn something really big about the world or something really small about another person. How tall is the world's tallest rainbow? What's your bear's name? Dad says the more purple questions you ask, the more purple you become. How many do you think there are? He also says I can ask him 20 questions about space dolphins per day. So look at, they were looking at dolphins in the sky, weren't they? Step two, laugh a lot. My grandma says purple people laugh a lot. We are always laughing together. I mean like snot out our noses laughing. Ooh, that's pretty hard laughing, isn't it? We laugh at books, we laugh at jokes. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. We laugh at donkey dances and hairy elephant knees. And we especially laugh at Grandpa's funny noises. The elephant has hairy knees. <laughs> Purple laughing helps us remember the things we share and forget what we thought made us different. And it's almost impossible to be angry when you are laughing. Try it. I dare you. Grandma says the more purple laughing you do, the more purple you become. She also says Grandma's... Grandpa's noises are her favorite funny noises in the whole wide world. Look at how hard everybody is laughing. That's pretty cool. Mrs. Wilson loves to laugh. Step three, use your voice and don't lose your voice. My mom says purple people use their voice and don't lose their voice. She encourages me to use my voice to sing. My dad is the one with the hairy chest who loves me more than all the rest. To give good ideas, let's wear monster costumes to school and to share my opinions. I personally feel like we shouldn't have to eat Brussels sprouts because they smell like sweaty socks. Mm. Sorry. Sometimes people lose their voice and that's okay, it happens. A purple voice helps someone who is having trouble finding their voice. Purple people don't speak up, they also listen. Maybe you could tell them you don't like it when you call, they call you that name. Want me to help you tell them? Mom says the more you use a purple voice, the more purple you become. Mom, can you help me with this, with my play? She also said she heard my opinion on Brussels sprouts, but I still have to eat them. I'm going to work on a better argument. <laughs> Step.
Step four, work hard, super duper hard. My grandpa says purple people know how to dig in and get stuff done. He and I like to work hard while we build things and while we learn things and while we grow things. Oh, look at all the things she does with her grandpa. And she's learning from him, isn't she? Purple work is the kind of work that's done together to change something that needs changing. What do we want? More playgrounds. When do we want them? Now! Fix something that needs fixing or help someone who needs helping. Aww. Grandpa says the more purple work you do, the more purple you become. He also says no purple work has ever done while sitting on your backside sipping strawberry lemonade. Okay, are you ready for the last step? Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Are you really, really ready? Okay, drum roll, please. We can just listen to the thunder, huh? Step five, paint yourself purple. That's not the way to become a purple person. Actually, being a purple person has nothing to do with what you look like. My teacher says purple people look all sorts of ways. They're big and small, old and young. Some wear cool hats. Some wear shorts with lots of pockets and some wear funny hats. She says some purple people feel blue sometimes and red other times. And some purple people even have green hair. Wow, look at all those different types of purple people. Starting to rain. Step five, just be you. Like my teacher always says, purple people come in every color you can dream of and every size you can think of. The only way to be purple is just be you because you're the only you we've got. So those are my surefire steps to become a purple person. Hey, wait a minute. You ask really great questions. You laugh a lot. You use your voice all the time. You are a really hard worker and you are totally you. Well, I'll be a llama's mama. You've been beautifully purple this whole time. I sure am glad you're a purple person because the world needs more people just like you. Look at all those different people playing around and getting along together. Well, boys and girls, I sure enjoyed my book today. I hope you did too. I love you and miss you. Stay safe.